Hello Underachievers, here's a fun one. A pedophile got me tattooed on his body when I was 15. I'm going to tell you about the time my parents tried to impregnate me with my brother. I wrote a song about it. That song's coming out on August 31st. It's called Growing Up on the Internet. You can pre-save it now. I guess you probably want to hear more about that, but I won't tell you anything else. Apart from do pre-save it, the link is down there. So, transphobia. We're, we're kind of used to it by now. Do we accept it? No. Do we put up with it? No. That's a loaded question. Should we have to put up with it? No. Can we maybe sometimes laugh at it? Yes. Yes, we absolutely can. By we, I mean me and other trans people, and you, I guess, if you're watching this in good faith. I just realized there are just gonna be some cis people watching this just laughing at it. Oh well, it's funny as hell. So my friend showed me a song from 2009 recently, and that was a very long time ago. I was nine or 10 years old. How old were you in 2009? I don't wanna know the answer to that. The lyrics of this song, they, they truly baffled me. Now bear in mind, 2009, peak Kesha, peak 303, peak Justin Bieber. Great time, I would say. We'll ignore the financial state of the world and literally everything else, but 2009, I, I was loving it. And this song, the lyrics are just, they're just incredible. I, I, I've quite literally never seen anything else like this. Have you guys seen those Westboro Baptist church parodies that they used to do? They'd cover like really popular songs, but make them like homophobic or transphobic or racist or anything else like that. This song is like that. I don't know if it's marginally worse or better. And I think the worst thing, or also the best thing, it could maybe be the best thing. I don't even think it realizes how transphobic it is, the song itself. Do the writers? I, I hope so. So the song is called Disguise and it's by Skepta, JME and Jammer. If you don't know who they are, they're all grime artists. If you're British, you've probably heard of them. If you're not British, I don't know. I assume most of you guys don't listen to grime and I don't know why that is. Maybe you'll surprise me. Do you listen to grime? I kind of enjoy it. I don't actively listen to it, but I, I, I've heard it before and I, I, I think, ooh. That those are some sweet, some sweet lines. And I hate to say it, but I felt that about this song. Now, I'm not here to make any personal statements about the morality of the artists or the people that wrote this or produced it, although I really could, just based off this one song, but I'm not gonna do it. It was 2009, it was a different time, and I, I don't think that makes it any better, to be completely honest. So I obviously can't play you the whole song because then this would just get copyrighted and that would be sad, that would really suck. But I can show you this little snippet, and I think that's all you really need to hear. Oh, did you like the snippet? Did you love the snippet? I kind of enjoyed the snippet. So initially my friend showed me some of the lyrics to this song and I kind of just had to Google it. I just had to know where their headspace was when they wrote this. And apparently in December 2019, which was 10 years after the song was released, JME, who featured on the song, acknowledged that the term transvestites would be seen as offensive today. I haven't really heard people use the word transvestite in a really long time, but if you don't know what it means, it's it's not transgender or transsexual. Transgender and transsexual is when you trans your sex or you trans your gender, you change your gender. Um, a transvestite is transvest, a vest that is trans. Trans, across, across clothing, they wear clothes that that wouldn't be typically worn by people of their assigned sex at birth, but it's 2023, we don't really, that everyone's wearing skirts, I guess. Don't tell Billy Porter about that skirt thing, I just said he'll have an aneurysm. Jamie also stated that it wasn't his intention to offend and that his verse was primarily about consent rather than other people's sexualities. He explained that the song is about a specific incident in Amsterdam. And here's a little quote from him. We're talking about a specific situation. We're talking about going to Amsterdam as teenagers, walking down the strip where you think there's women in windows, but they're men, but you don't know. That must be very stressful. And they come out to the street, they take someone's hat and they they say, hey, come in here, come in here. And you're standing there thinking, uh, yes, that sounds very stressful. I understand why three of you felt the need to write an entire song about, I don't know if if they identify as transvestites or just trans women. I don't know, you know, three, three guys just had to make a song about this apparently. So you've heard that. I guess the song isn't really a big deal. It's about a specific incident in Amsterdam with a hat. You haven't seen the lyrics yet, so we're just gonna get on to that. Am I gonna have to like sing and rap? The song opens up with transvestites, more than meets the eye. Transvestites, man them in disguise. And that's repeated. So let's analyze. Transvestites, more than meets the eye. Transvestites, man them in disguise. For those of you that don't know, I assume man them is like a British thing. I've, I've not heard Americans say it. Man them just means man. Men, group of boys, your buds, like your bros. Your bros in disguise, pretty much. They're saying that these trans women or the trans Best, I can't, I don't know what they were, the ones in Amsterdam. They're more than meets the eye, they're in disguise. So you could take this in two ways. They're either one, cross-dressers, or two, trans women. If they were trans women, that would be much worse. 
That would be much worse. But if they're cross-dressers, still a bit weird. More that meets the eye, they're in disguise. I don't want to be that guy, uh, but I am going to be that guy, because that's, you know, that's why we're here, really, isn't it? There's this whole thing where men will see a trans woman and they'll find her attractive because she's probably really f***ing hot, and they realize at some point that she was not born a girl, that she was born a guy, and do you know what they do? They get really angry. They get really upset. They're like, oh, you deceived me. You deceive her. Meanwhile, she's just hanging out, just looking real good. Like, that's just who she is. I'm sure that any trans woman that's watching this has been told that they're deceiving people. And also, like, if she's hot when you don't realize she's trans, she's still hot. So onto the verse, yo Skepta, man dem in disguise, you thought it was a girl cause he had a handbook. There's a, there's a mishmash of pronouns there. We got it, he and she, and I did not know anybody in 2009 that used any and all pronouns, so I, maybe that's progressive. Not particularly a fan of people calling trans people it. Even if they're not trans and they're just cross-dressing, I still think calling them it is weird. I understand this is a song from 2009 and it doesn't matter now, but I'm still gonna talk about it. There are people that wish to be referred to as it, and it, but that is not me, and that is not the majority of people. And I have been called it, and yeah, I felt nothing. It didn't upset me. Hmm. Also, I love that we're opening up this song by saying, you thought it was a girl because he had a handbag. A handbag. A handbag made you think that he was a girl. Did you not see friends? Joey. I almost called him Joey Graceffa. Ah, good day, everyone! Joey Tribbiani has a handbag. Would you think this man is a lady? with his bag. You didn't know it was a next man's granddad. I love that phrasing. I d a next man's granddad. I guess it could be understandably strange if you see a really hot woman and then you picture her having grandkids. But she's the granddad. Don't rush into things, rude boy. Take some more time. Check out the jawline. Oh my god. This is like, wow. Wow. Skepta apparently was a trendsetter. You must have seen people doing transvestigations. Like, here's how you can spot a trans woman. She's tall. She has a sharp jawline. She's got big hands. Skepta could just be describing Sigourney Weaver. She has great facial structure. Now you're high off the herb, you bun. Now, if you're not a regular smoker of that, you know what I'm talking about, right? You're high off the herb, which is you bun in British that means smoke. So walk away like me, Jamie, and the Merkel dunce. So we're we're complicating things now. She's got a jawline, she's got a handbag, and also they're high on drugs. Sounds like a great time in Amsterdam for me, to be honest. Make sure it's a red light, not a blue or purple one. It's called the red light district, also known as the concrete jungle. You thought you was talking to a girl, you didn't know it was a next man's uncle. She is reproducing her, she is having offspring. Her family they're breeding. They do be breeding. Oh my god. Time and place. That's why I'm warning people. I repeat, I'm warning people. You guys, next time you're high in Amsterdam walking around with Skepta, Jamie, and Jamma, just don't. Just don't do it. So if you still make the mistake, don't try and blame it on the New York Diesel. So the next verse is, They're not girls, they're guys. They're mad damn in disguise. I love that. It's very catchy. It, you should lit- No, don't. Transvestites, more than meets the eye. Does that sound good? Illegally download it. LimeWire. Go on LimeWire and download it and then you can listen to it. They're not girls, they're guys, they're mandem in disguise. Just reinforcing what was said in the intro and in the last verse. Just, they're not, they're not women, they're men. They tried it on the sly with that purple light and their eyebrows high like a permanent surprise. I should have Googled this before I finished filming the video, but the purple lights that they're talking about, that, that, that indicates that the people that they're interacting with are transgender. They're not in disguise. You just didn't look at the log. You didn't look at the key. So I don't know what I'm picturing. So far we have Sigourney Weaver with a handbag in purple lighting and really high eyebrows. That just makes me think of drag queens. I, I don't think of cross dresses with the big eyebrows. I'm like picturing this. This is what I'm picturing on Sigourney Weaver. Sorry, JME, Skepta and Jammer. Does this bring up repressed feelings? Robin Hood can fly, but not these men in tights. I don't blaze, I don't drink, my mind is clear. So this one isn't even high. This guy, there are no substances. Sigourney Weaver is now wearing tights. I know. I think I see they're looking at me in the windows. They want to take man's pee I think that means they want to take his money Which means that they are probably sex workers which means that in the first place They're writing a song about going up to sex workers and then disrespecting them and we don't do that here We don't do that. I've got no qualms with your sexuality, but why are you trying to trick me? See here's the thing like I I'm picturing like Sigourney Weaver big eyebrows handbag tights I don't think that she thinks that she's gonna go out there and be like, we're gonna trick all these men. We're gonna trick all these straight men. Like trans people or just like queer people in general existing and you finding them attractive enough to go up to them. That's, that's not on them. That's not them trying to trick you. That's, that's you just, you're not, you're not even being tricked. You just find someone attractive and then you find out that they're not. 
what you think they are and then you get upset and disgusted. When I get home, back to reality, I'm gonna spread the word to the picnic. What does picnic mean? Oh, picnic means child. Okay, so next time you bring your children to the red light district in Amsterdam and you get them high, um, let them know not to go up to the cross dresses and or trans people. I don't know if- I don't know if that's worth telling children to- I don't know- I don't know if you need to warn them. Don't be fooled by the makeup, because it might not be a girl when you wake up. Is this like Cinderella or some shit? Like the clock strikes 12 and their sex reassignment surgery just reverses? Just because he's got long hair, high heels, and a little bit of cleavage. Okay, so- okay, so th these are- these are- okay, these are just trans women. These are not cross dresses. These are just trans women! This is- okay. Okay, I feel- I, I feel less bad about making this video. Look properly, it's needed. Stay away from the mushrooms. This is interesting to me as a bisexual, because you know what? I used to think I was only into men a few years ago, and now I can't even imagine that. I can't picture that being true. But like, if you find them sexy, you like how they look, you don't have to have sex with them, but you don't need to be upset about finding them attractive. Like, what's, what, what is deep about that? Why are you so insecure? To be fair, when I was younger and I found women attractive, I'd have a bit of a moment. I get a bit freaked out. I didn't invite two of my buddies to make a song about it though, so maybe maybe we're different. You've got to stay focused. It's needed. And you're going to be- I love all the creative language uh, surrounding just smoking. And you're going to be running the red light district. So be you're going to be running the red light- You're going to be running the red light district? So beware of the purple lights. Some of those girls ain't girls. If you look properly, you'll see their guys. Now, I'm not claiming to be a lyrical genius. I, I don't intend to ever be that. I, I just like making my music the way I make my music. But this is not- This is not Shakespeare. I don't know how many verses you need to say the sentence They're not girls, they're guys the, you could, That could just be the entire song They're men in disguise, you better open your eyes If you go in the blue door, don't be surprised They're man them in disguise And that's it That's that. That's all the, that, that's left of all the lyrics Apart from just repeating Transvestites more than meets the eye Transvestites man them in disguise I would give this Out of ten A three Just for the melody It's just catchy It's just a catchy song uh, lyrically, I'm not inspired. I'm, I'm not impressed. I would consider this a hate crime if someone were to play this to me. But that's okay, because so far that hasn't happened. I guess we gotta end it there. Um, what do you guys think of the song? Oh yeah, and follow me by the way. Click that big fat subscribe red button if you haven't clicked it already. I'm talking to you. Maybe I'm not, but if you haven't subscribed, I'm talking to you. Why would you be one in 880 something thousand when you could be one in a million? That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get to a million subs. And by we, I mean me. Thank you. Have a good day, though. See you later, losers. Goodbye.